welcome to Forken Effects, where I'm gonna show you today how to get that cinematic look that many of you are looking for, how to make that color correction that looks so awesome in the films. Um, well, I gotta say that this is definitely not my work, this is just a random thumbnail that I found on the internet. Um, I don't know, I just wanted to use it for, you know, as an example. And uh, the only thing that you're gonna need for um, getting this is an edited, an edited footage, and I said an edited because um, sometimes, especially if you have like a reflex or a professional camera, uh, it films by default with an HDR effect or with some contrast, some saturation. Just if possible, disable all of that. Just try to get the footage as clean as possible without any kind of filters or anything, so that we can have full control over what we are um, doing, you know, of the contrast and everything, so that we can get any kind of look that we want. So, okay, we're going to get our footage. Um, well, this footage is actually in 4K, so I'm going to size it down to 100 to 1080. All right. And well, the first thing that we gotta do is look for a cool frame to start our color correction. Mm, I think this one looks nice. Yeah, this one. And the one thing that I gotta say is that, uh, well, this is filmed with a, you know, pretty nice camera. And it's not about getting the closest uh, look to those films that you see on cinema. It's about getting your footage that you already have and that you cannot change and making the best from it getting the coolest effect that you could get from the footage that you already have so after saying that uh, let's go for it I'm going to show you three different ways of creating like a cinematic effect um, the first thing that we gotta do is if we have uh, some effects on top of the footage we have to pre-compose them pre-compose the whole thing because then we're going to add these uh, black bars at the top and at the bottom that I didn't know how you call that in English. And then we can, you know, move it out a little bit. And so, so if you have, again, some effects on top of your footage, just pre-compose the whole thing. And okay, we're going to make these black bars. And for making that, we're going to go to our composition settings. And... Uh, the aspect radio should be 2.35 is the aspect radio that has on cinemas so the height or height i don't know how to, i don't know how do you pronounce this should be the width uh, divided by 2.35 so we're going we're going to get our calculator i'm going to show you if we have 1920 that is the width if we divide that by 2.35 we get 817 so that should be 117 you see we get 2.35 this is the aspect radio that we usually have in cinemas and this is what I told you see now we can adjust it a little bit depending on you know how you want uh, your footage to look if you have if you work at 720 for example well you should put 1280 divided by 2.35 and this 544 should be the height of the footage you know just apply that to uh, the the width divided by 2.35 and that's the height that should be that your um footage should have so right um as i said before i'm going to show you three different ways of creating this effect the first one and the most easy one, the most simple one, is just creating, it's just creating a adjustment layer, getting a tint effect, tint, putting it on top, and going here and putting it to soft light. This way we already created a you know nice contrast and a really nice effect, and we can play around with it a little bit. Maybe we can put. I don't know, some more purple tongue and the white, making maybe more close to um, like an orange. And you see, this is the easiest way to get a cinematic look. But 
also it's not the most accurate, you know. The second way to create a a cinematic look, I just got blank, sorry, <laughs> is creating another um, adjustment layer. And this time we're going to get a curves effect. This way, with the curves effect, we can have full control of what we're doing. We want to create a little bit of contrast, but just don't make the mistake that uh, I made many times, that is just putting exactly the same effect to every single footage. Because each footage has a different lightning, has a different, you know, needs a different contrast. So just don't create the same effects to, ev to every single footage, just adjust, al although it takes time, but it looks so much better in the final product, you know? Take your time to, you know, see how many, how much contrast needs each, each footage, because maybe this one, it looks good like this, but in another footage that is much darker, maybe it needs a little bit less of dark, you know? Um, you know, just play around with balance and try to get the best effect possible. And right, I think that this contrast looks nice already. We're gonna get now a hue and saturation effect. And we're going to get a little bit less of saturation, minus 30. And you can see that we got we get rid a little bit of our saturation. If you want to add some kind of, um, you know, colorish effect, instead of the saturation, you can just get a tint effect. And um, this one is actually seen in many films that the shadows are a little bit bluish and the highlights are a little bit yellowish, something like this. And just put it to 30%. And you can see that you got rid of the saturation, but also you gave that that tone of color, you know, that looks looks better this way. And also we can get an unsharp mask effect. And we can put maybe 100 amount. And you can see that what this does is that it gets more highlight on the footage, you know, it looks more detailed. Now, this is um, a nice camera that I use, as I, as I said before, but if you ha have a camera that, you know, is just a cheap camera, don't put, don't put a really high value because it can start to get noise on the footage and the noise is really, you know, it doesn't look cool. So I'm going to put just 100 amount. Um, you just play around with the value depending on on the noise that the footage already has and depending on, on the quality that you're using. And right, I think that now we can get to the final film look. This one is more like an um, Instagram look, I will call. <laughs> We're going to first of all get a game, the curves effect. Make our contrast, something like this. Now we can get our tint effect and we can get the black associated to stuff like this and the white to some yellowish tones, something like that, something like that. Put to 30 maybe, 40, I don't know if 40, oops. I don't know if 40 will be too much, maybe yeah, 30. Alright, we can also add some saturation to make it look like more alive. This is what they did on Mad Max, you know, they put a really high saturation. Something like this. We can put again our sharp mass effect. 100. And we can also create now a layer, new adjustment layer, and get the a fast blur effect. We can put maybe 50 and hold here in the mask tool and get the ellipse, ellipse tool and then double click on it. Go here to the to the mask options and put it to subtract mode. I'm going to actually 
put something more like this <laughs> all right and then press F to get the feather feather route something like that maybe 50 is too much maybe I'll put just 30 uh, make sure also that you click here and repeat edge pixel so that this thing that we can see over here doesn't happen Oops. see um, this effect is many times used for you know a part that is like a dream or a vision a flashback they many times do this they blur a little bit the edges like this maybe you can put even less than 15 and it looks already real nice like this another thing that it's also many times done is that they add a glow effect to the footage put it maybe something like this um, 0.5 and a very high value something like that and put the glow on top of the unsharp mask so that because many times when you put the glow uh, we lose details so we want to have the unsharp mask below the glow effect I'm going to put it maybe even less than three and you can tell the difference there <laughs> maybe add some more saturation and you see it's just about playing around with values and trying to get your own cinematic look your own color correction what if for example you want to create I don't know um, the matrix look matrix it's known for having like a greenish tones something more like this maybe when I have here like five and you know again as I said before it's about creating your own color correction creating your own cinematic look just don't take um, like the defects don't take these values and apply them to every single footage because many times um, although it's gonna be easy to just drop the effects on top and that's all but it will not look really nice on some footage like some will be really bright others will be really dark and um, what if you do, you already have a you added a lot of, of effects like this that I have over here um, you want just to save this well you can just click on the first hold shift and click on the last one you know select the whole thing and just click on them and drop it on here here on the empty space and this will create a preset so we can make this for example matrix CC for color correction and we already saved that so now if we have our footage we drop it on, on our composition and um, we wanted to add the same the same effect that we saved we just have to go to here adjustment layer look for matrix you see we have it here and just drop it there and we already have our footage with all the effects and all the look that we created so this was everything that I wanted to share with you guys I hope that you found it helpful and that this helps you to have a better look on your films and I hope that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet and if you like the video if you found it helpful leave me a comment so that I can know that you know my videos are helpful and if you want any other tutorial just let me know in the comments below and I really hope to see you in my next tutorial so see ya